Hello YouTube, beautiful Saturday morning today. What we're going to do today is uh, replace a few shocks on the old Holland, Holden Colorado. As you can see, look at that. Uh, pretty much toast. Failed a warrant. So we've got the two front shocks and the back brakes to do. So we'll go through that today. She's been a bit of a lemon, the old Holden Colorado. It cost me a bit of money. Since I've had it, I've had to replace the the um, EGR valve and sensor, and now the shocks and the brakes. So I've had a Holden, sorry, I've had a Toyota Hilux 1989, and I've had that for 15 years, and that has only ever had to have tyres changed and maybe some brake pads. So yeah, this one's starting to cost a bit. Pretty tight. <laughs> The difference is massive, like you can't even push that in. All the parts. Right, let's fit it. Thank you. 
Right, job done. We'll hook into these back brakes and drums, see what they like. I use a bit of a copper pipe just so I don't wreck the threads but you can see see all that's come out so it's it's uh, sort of corroded and seized up a little bit in there so it's probably been used down towing a boat in and out of the sea I'd say it seems to be pretty corroded around there you can I've seen on some drums they've got screw holes in here and you can tighten a, a bolt in there and it sort of pulls it off but I think this is more, I'm not, that's got no thread in there so I don't know what that's about so the only other way I know is to tap it, it should just pop off. I've done the other side and it was very similar to this, it was just all corroded. The old uh, drum is not as bad as the other one. The other one is really scored up. And I think what someone has done is uh, it's put new brakes in it last time and seen that the drummers were scored and thought bugger it and just stuck new brakes in because there's no metal on metal 
on these brakes yet and the other one was pretty bad so I actually brought new Drake uh, drums for it as well and they're about three mil scored into that one I'll just get the other one and show you see there's a big if you can catch that on camera there's a big hollow right in the middle so that'll be about five mil and the, uh, the pads wouldn't fit properly in here so they're pretty much buggered actually drop the a pin like that in the grass when I was moving gear so I'm going to try some magnets in a stocking or pantyhose and see if I can get it I doubt it but that's what I'm looking for right I was just about to make one but uh, my daughter actually came over and used that stocking with the magnets and found it for me so stoked as right get back into the job right let's take this one off I actually uh, have already done the other side and left it off because I left the, the drum off just so I get everything back in the, the right positions and around the right way because it does uh, matter when you go to put the drum on if it's out by about two or three mil it just won't fit so either yeah uh, do what I've done or take a photo because it's not often you're always replacing brakes so Another way to get the drums off too. Uh, see this thing here? That's a tensioner. So when the brakes get worn out, it actually screws itself out just to keep them tight. And this vehicle behind here is a rubber bung. So what you do is you'd put a push a screwdriver in there from behind, push this out so it's not on the sprocket there, and just wind that back so it, it uh, releases tension on the drum. I don't know if all vehicles have got that rubber bung but this one has so I've got to swap this over onto the new brakes and take this off which is the handbrake and put it onto the new brake
going to wind it in so I get all the <coughs> tension off it. Correct. Let's get the drum on. Beauty, job done. Hope this helps you guys out. Don't forget to uh, hit that bell, like, share, and subscribe, guys. Cheers.